Hi everybody, it's Carol, and I'm back with my glue book again, and this is part two. I was on here a little bit ago, and I got the first half of this glue book finished, and I'm hoping to get this done in two videos because I want to start working in it. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to bring out a full music page. I wanted to do that in my last one, but it's all pieced together, which is okay. But I really would like to put a full music page up here. And that's what I'm going to do. Because that's my my favorite thing to do is put ephemera on music paper. So let's see how far I have to rip this down. Okay. Yeah, so I've been coming on and I started a new glue book because the glue book that I had, I used, I used every paper except for, I used every page except for one and then some scraps. So I thought I'd come along and glue in two, make a new glue book. So I have an old coloring book and that works great for me. I that's that's how I like doing it. So the book is always there and ready to go. So we're going to glue glue this in here with the art glitter glue. Actually, the first half of this book I made earlier today, and I'm still waiting for my new art glitter glue to arrive. It's supposed to come today from Amazon, and so I'm a little bit anxious for it to come here. When I did the first part of this glue book, I worked on it for quite a while and then I stopped and I finished my laundry and now I just needed to get back here and this is the page that I cannot wait to decorate because I love decorating on music paper and I think what I'm going to do is skip ahead and I'm going to do another music sheet on the back cover. Just a full. Just a full sheet over here. Then it looks like if I can, it won't take long doing full sheets. And I think I'm going to do, my other book was, my other glue book that I did was, you know, obviously it was cut in smaller pieces to, for me to fill the page. And the beginning of this book I used a little bit larger pieces and I just want to do full sheets of the music pages here but my other pages 
I do want to do on the bigger side, but not full sheets. Okay, let's get this down. And if I do not do the remainder of the pages now, then I will do them later on off camera. So we'll see how many I can get done. I think I have, I don't know, I think I have seven left to do. I counted them earlier, but I didn't count them now. Again, any pages that hang off, I will just cut them. Okay, let's get back. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I have some floral book pages. So it has book pages and some words, the definitions of the flowers. Okay, let's get this on. Hmm. I think I like the red flowers. So, we'll put it down this way. Yeah, this book is going to be a little different from the first one. Only because the pages are a little... They're quite larger, if you see what I mean. And there's only one page left of my first book. I'm not surprised though. Okay, so we'll get this down. Well, that looks pretty. Now, let's see. I have... This is from a book of Birds of North America. Hmm. I don't know how I want to... I could do that. to put this down. So this half of the book is going to be done with larger pages. larger ephemera covering the pages. Okay. Oh, see, my, na my neighbor's door is barking. You know, I'm going to just let her out of the room. Okay. I 
I had to look up to see if I was still in frame and I saw that my camera was crooked. Okay, these are the birds from North America. I ran out to the store earlier, <clears throat> excuse me, when I was, after I did my first page and did my laundry, I had to run to the store, and it is so hot and humid out there, it's got to be in the 90s, well, it is in the 90s, it's up to up in high 90s, looks like I had a page ripped out of here. Okay, so let's see what we have. I have this. I could probably do half pages of this. Okay, my Stella settled down now. I hope my neighbors, I don't want to say it because she'll, she knows what that word is, but my neighbor's DOG doesn't start because then mine will. I don't know what it is with these little, these little dogs. They're such yappers. The one next door is a terrier, but it's a larger one than what I have. I have a Shih Tzu. Okay. I mean, she's a, a beautiful, loving lap dog that I, you know, that mine is. I don't want to say her name. And um, she's just such a delight, but it's a barking. And now I have this. And I should be getting my new glue in the mail soon. This is starting to... Okay. See how it stops and goes when you get down to the bottom? Sometimes that happens, or if you leave the cap off. Oh, good. I 
I should put the birds there. We used to have a bird feeder in our backyard and right out the uh, patio door we had a really nice bird feeder and we had tons of birds and that's why I I got the bird book because I could identify quite a few that would come into our garden but you know after after our little one came into the picture you know the birds were just they were, at least to say, they were annoying her. So, there was a lot of barking going on. And, somehow, I don't know what happened to the bird feeder. But even when we had the bird feeder, it was the kind that... You know, when the birds would sit on it, they could sit on the little perch and get their seeds. And we would buy the good seeds because if you get, if you put up the good seeds, you get the good birds. You get a really big variety. And we did. We had a really a nice variety of, of the birds. And we had so many of them. And, but if a squirrel goes up, because we have tons of squirrels also the weight of them they would they would as soon as they would hit the um i guess the perch where the birds would sit it would close the door you know and they couldn't get the bird seed until they figured out to climb the pole and they would get up there and hold on to the side of the bird feeder and they could still get the seeds without touching perch and so what we did was we put Vaseline on the pole and I'll tell you that was the funniest thing because Vaseline works good because they would slide right down and it doesn't it doesn't freeze in the winter time Vaseline so we had the Vaseline on there year-round and the birds, the, uh, the squirrels would try to get up there and they would slide down. Oh my gosh, that was the funniest thing to see. Those poor squirrels, they tried everything trying to get up there and they couldn't, could not get it. So we had the happy birds again. but Stella wasn't having it. These are just pages of projects that, that I've done and that are left over or pages that I would buy a kit and I didn't like these pages, so I didn't use them. And I thought I just used them in collaging or something like this. And of course, you know, ephemera is going to go on here. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to do all these right now because I still have quite a few left. Now here's a here's um, book page, and this is a mobile air conditioning update. So I'm going to use it because it is a book page, and book pages are nice. They're nice to have inside. I'm going to do a full page of book page. And I'm probably cheating. And I'm doing this because I, I really just want to get this done. So within the next couple days, maybe I could do something. If 
with the, you know, with this, uh, with this book, with the uh, color pages. Yeah, this is going to hang off, but that's okay because I'll trim the edges. Yeah, this is probably really cheating, <laughs> gluing, um, making a glue book, but this is what I'm going to try, and, you know, I can put a lot of ephemera on here. I still have a lot of ephemera to fuzzy cut out. I always say fuzzy cut, it's fussy, fussy cut, and I have some Edwardian ephemera and Edwardian ladies and now it just looks like a book a book page right but it'll it'll be nice once I put ephemera on there Okay, I can do my dictionary pages again. I could cut that these edges off. And they're ripping so nicely because these are old. Actually I'm gonna put it down that way. Actually, this is my, this was my father-in-law's dictionary, and I took it apart, and I repurposed it, and I made a journal out of it. It's really nice. I have it in my Etsy shop, but it turned out so nice, and it's an old book. pages are not brittle so so far so good they still lay down nicely but I do have a, a really old book that's so brittle that if I if I try and gosh even if I like pick it up not being very gentle the paper will just flake off This is dictionary pages, and we're in the A's. I'll do the whole page in dictionary. Guess I'll just take a little off the top. Boy, look at that's perfect. Almost perfect. Just a little off a little bit. So 
this one side of the page curls up and it's probably the, the part that was near the uh, binding. Um, it's starting to stick. near the spine, not the binding. Is, is the binding the spine? Hmm. Could be. Okay. Boy, that looks nice. I like that. Okay. What do we have left here? One, two, Three. Let's see what kind of papers I have here left. These are all little. I do have other wildflower books. This is the book that I use a lot. The Wildflowers of New Britain. I'll just tear this down. Because I like that flower. Oh, I like this too. It's a nice quote from William Shakespeare. A Midsummer's Night Dream. I probably should have had that out. I'm trying to look for pieces of anything, book pages or floral that would fit in here nicely. This is this is an old paper. This is the one that's kind of being brittle because it's cracking in my hand when I'm trying to rip it. So let me get this down. Hi everybody, it's Carol. And my camera had died when I was at this point of the video. So I completed the uh, project. I did not know my camera wasn't working, that it died. So I'm coming on just to show you the results of the rest of the glue book. So this is where it stopped when I was putting the wildflower on and the rest of the these pages, papers. And the next page was just the floral. And over here, this is um, this is my painting page and different papers that I had and the dictionary paper. And this was the very last one the music paper as I did on the front cover I have the music pages that I put to cover so that's it this is my the finishing product of the glue book and um, it's a pretty big one and I can't wait to decorate it and work with it so thank you so much for coming along with me and finishing up on this on this glue book and we'll talk soon thank you so much for watching and you have a great day bye bye